Deep in the Auvergne, some primary school pupils are trying to revive a volcano. One, two, three! Go easy when you do that, because if you land too heavily, what might happen? We'll wake the volcano! That's right, and if we do that, it could be dangerous. But if we did wake it up, it would be great, a fantastic spectacle. They left behind their region of Bordeaux to discover the mysteries of the Chêne des Puits, magma, and pyroclastic flows. And it's enough to make a school kid's head spin. And you end up like this. When they discover, from deep inside the volcano, the perfect curves of its crater. <laughs> OK, all back to normal now. A one-week field trip deep amid the volcanoes of the Auvergne. It's a huge crater. In the middle, we seem so small. Aren't you scared that lava might gush out? No. no. It's dormant. There's a one in a thousand chance of lava gushing out because it's extinct. And if it did, we'd have time to run up and get out of the volcano. Do you think the volcano could erupt again? Yeah, I think so. Not even scared? No. Not a tiny bit? An itsy bit. <laughs> We're all kids, really. The world of volcanoes is magical, even for adults, because it takes us back to the formation of the Earth and all that. A mysterious landscape with no fewer than 80 volcanoes in a line across the Massif Central. A geological theater which every year attracts hundreds of thousands of tourists and continues to fascinate scientists. For a 360-degree view, we accompany geologist Olivier Merle. He's taking the electric train to the summit of the Puy de Dôme with its turbulence at 1,400 meters above sea level. Scientists are still brimming with curiosity about volcanoes, because in the bowels of the Earth, danger lurks. At a depth of 30, 40, 50, or 60 kilometers, there are vast masses of heat, probably magma. This magma could rise to the surface and cause volcanic eruptions. What we don't know is when this will occur. It could be tomorrow, in 10 years, 100 years, 1,000 years. They're still alive, but they're dormant. They're dozing, but they're not extinct. But the 90 cows belonging to Patrice Chassard don't seem too bothered. On the contrary, the volcanic soil is a godsend for his herd and the richness of the cheese it produces. The pastures have developed a number of flavors, such as aniseed, gentian, and alpine fennel, a variety of subtle flavors found in Patrice's Saint Nectaire cheese. Look at the number of species. One, two, three, four, five, Six. In this tiny spot, already six different species. It's the volcanic soil that attracts specific plants to this land. They all have their own use, but together they give a special taste to our cheese. It's milking time. And for the milk to keep all the flavors of the volcanic pasture, Patrice has driven his caravan to altitude. Go on, Guatemala. That's my girl. She's the calmest of them a mobile milking room in the middle of the meadow. The cows follow the grass and I follow the cows. Do you always do that? Always. <laughs> are there many of you who milk right up in the hills? In saint there are 30 of us. Out of 200? Out of 200 farmer producers. Volcanoes feed cattle, but also supply an excellent building material, vulvic stone. It was used to build Clément Ferrand Cathedral. In fact, it's petrified lava which was quarried, with great difficulty, by monks and journeymen back in the 13th century. Today, the stone is still in fashion. One company in the region, run by a young craftsman, coats the stone with enamel to create contemporary decorative objects. It's looking good, perfect, impeccable. I'm still like a kid here. The opening of the kiln door has always been an important moment for me, with the heat coming out right at you at 130 degrees. There's a slight defect. Oh, yeah. 
We'll need to touch it up. Oh, it's nothing difficult. It's only small, but we'll give it another firing all the same. Just a little drop. Lava is a difficult rock to tame. It's a rock with a tortured past, and it keeps something of that spirit inside it. So we do have the odd day when it causes us problems. Creations sold for several thousand euros in Australia, Japan, and the United States. The Chêne des Prix, a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2018, is now an export brand. It's an extra string to our bow, being able to tell our customers that our enameled lava comes from the UNESCO World Heritage Site in the Auvergne in France. 95,000 years after appearing, the volcanoes of the Chêne des Prix are part of the wealth of Auvergne heritage. But for how long will they remain sleeping giants?